Ken Molay here with a tip from the library. Once you've managed to get someone to sign up for your webinar, you have four critical emails to send. The first is an immediate confirmation that includes basic login instructions. If your system allows it, I recommend adding an electronic calendar attachment so the registrant can get your webinar on their schedule. This email should be brief and straightforward, with a final sentence saying that you'll send a reminder as you get closer to the webinar date. Adding this sentence makes additional communications feel like an expected fulfillment of a promise rather than just inbox filler. As a general best practice, I like sending two reminder emails. I usually schedule the first one to go out exactly 24 hours before start time. Your reminder emails should include a simple and concise reminder of the value proposition. People who registered early may not remember why the topic seemed worthwhile to them at the time. An example sentence might be something along the lines of, don't miss your opportunity to gain valuable tips that will pay off in increased sales and revenue. As in the confirmation email, you should end by promising to send one final reminder before the event as a convenience for the attendee. And I like sending that final reminder anywhere from one to three hours before the start time. You want enough time to account for email delays or for your attendees being busy right when you send it. This reminder can add a little more detail about how audio will be provided, and it should include a time zone conversion link again so there's no confusion about the start time in the attendee's locale. After the webinar, you should make sure that a follow up email goes out to everyone who registered. If your software allows it, I prefer sending one message to people who attended, thanking them for their time and confirming the value they received. This can also include links to any materials that were promised during the webinar, along with a single point of contact for questions. You can send a different email to no shows, assuring them that they can access the webinar recording so they don't miss out on the value that was provided. Now you might like to move on to my tips about webinar scheduling, which you can access by clicking here. Or you can head back to the main index page to pick another topic. Thanks for watching.